Welcome back to another episode of Uncut Civilization 6. We are picking up just about right where we left off before, and things are going pretty damn well. We were able to capture the city of Baltimore very easily, but these other cities are going to be a bit more difficult to capture just because we've got a lot of ground to traverse and we're going to be taking damage all the while we traverse it. So I'm, I'm looking to take over Berlin first, and then I'm going to work my way over to T T Trier. If anybody's German and knows how to pronounce that, it's T-R-I-E-R. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think we can do it. I think we can completely wipe Germany off the out of the game, and that'll put us back into the game. Because France, they're already in the atomic era. They might have tanks rolling up on us. Japan, they're pretty far ahead as well. If we take a look at the tech tree, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm way in the back with, with Teddy Roosevelt. We're, we're chilling in the past while everybody else is up in the future so really what has to happen here is i have to take out germany before they they get the chance to upgrade their units because that will be absolutely devastating so let's try and maneuver our units around the battlefield without getting them too close to these encampments what we're going to do is just just try and go around and avoid contact with the cities as much as possible and it looks like he's got a musket man but I ain't scared of no musket men. I'm gonna just charge right in there and shoot him in the face. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. I, I kind of miss the, the redcoats from Great Britain, but uh, that's okay. They, they, they were just a, a really good looking unit. Um, and then they had some, some interesting powers as well. But the, the, the... Whoops, what am I, what am I clicking on? Ugh. Oh, the great person has glitched. He's actually moved along with... Uh, with this musket man, but he's he's still he's lagging behind a little bit. But on on a different note though, I got to play the Dawn of War three open beta and it was it was a lot of fun. It was refreshing. I, I've been playing a lot of real time strategy lately. I've been playing Halo Wars two. I've I've finally gotten it out of my system that the, the, the game's launch was miserable and, and, and disappointing mostly because I just couldn't even play the game and that's never something that you want when you when you purchase a game you want to be able to play it but I'm I'm I'm, I'm finally getting over that that frustration uh, after much after a lot of we'll, we'll call it therapy just kind of coming to terms with the fact that okay sometimes just things just aren't going to work out and it's unfortunate but it you just got to deal with it um but th but that is something annoying about the, the the game industry is that sometimes, you know, the, these million dollar companies are gonna fuck up, and I don't I don't want to say that they shouldn't because it's just a bunch of, it's a bunch of people right it's just it's humans and and we all make mistakes, but you know th th there's a certain amount of okay you guys are getting paid the big bucks to not mess up just you know get get it together uh, <laughs> but uh on on a different note though going back to to civilization i'm moving my catapults out of harm's way because what i'm thinking will be a good idea is to, to save them and and actually promote them into bombards when when i have the opportunity to so for now i'll just get them out of harm's way so they don't die and it won't be a waste and then I'm currently researching metal casting. I should be able to promote them for relatively cheap with some with the right policies. So that that that'll be beneficial. But yeah, I'm 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 getting over it. I'm 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 accepting the fact that that sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to. And for lack of a better term, it is what it is. Right? I'd I'd rather it not be that way, but sometimes things just have to be. But yeah, and, and I've been playing a lot of real-time strategy, and it, and it feels good because that uh, some of you may or may not remember, but I, I grew up with real-time strategy, and it, it's my, it's my favorite stuff to do. It's it's I, I love the the cerebral gaming a, a bit more than I enjoy the the more hot-blooded, passionate gaming, uh, and and by that I mean I like strategy games more than I like first-person shooters. Um, and, and, and games like that. And, and that, and it, and it's a shame that, that the real-time strategy genre has been 
I'm not going to say it's been dead because there are games that have come out like Deserts of Canrak or, or Canark. Or, it's, it's, it's some sort of game about deserts in space. And it's a real-time strategy game. It's very pure. And it exists, but it's it's sort of out of the mainstream. It's not like some... some oh, really? That's my cell phone ringing, people. That is horribly unprofessional, isn't it? It's the wrong number, too. It's not even important. Anyway, so so yeah, the, the, the real-time strategy hasn't really been at the forefront of gaming. And, and all I mean by that is is... There just hasn't been like a a really a title that everybody should know hasn't come out in in real time strategy lately, right? I mean, Halo Wars one, how, however many years ago that was, that was a big deal, but it wasn't a very pure real time strategy game just because it was on a console. And you know, you know, it it, it was a great game, but a real time strategy game is not real time strategy without a mouse and keyboard. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. It's just not it's not the same without a mouse and keyboard. It works just fine. Halo Wars was very innovative. But mouse and keyboard or it ain't real. That's that's just <laughs> that's just how I feel about it. Um but but it's interesting to to sort of to sort of see it coming back into the to the forefront a little bit. And and yes, there have been Dawn of War games in the past and 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 etc cetera, etc, cetera, but it, it's it's a weird thing with Dawn of War three, because they're they're trying to introduce different elements into the game. It feels like they're they're trying to make a push to sort of revitalize the genre a little bit, and they're doing that by introducing quote MOBA elements end quote, and th- that's always a hotly contested thing. And it's it's a real it's a real bu- it's a buzzword kind of thing. Like s- saying MOBA elements is always a little bit dangerous uh and and let me focus on the strategy for the moment we've got a we're we're seeing a little bit more of his army coming out he's got these pikemen and and you know still these archers from from the classical era which aren't a big deal but i've got to eliminate the pikemen with my musketmen so i've got to be intelligent about how i do this uh it doesn't look like i have enough points left to pillage so this musketman is actually going to take some damage from from both the city and all these archers so we got to do something about that so I'll just I'll leave him there for now, but here's what's gonna happen: the cavalry. Cheers, love. It's here. Let's get rid of these archers so they don't do any any little pew pew chip damage, if you will, to to my guys, and then and then get right in there with these musketmen. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. It, it's tricky when it gets like this, man. There's just so many so many places to move. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna unlink this uh, horseman just so I can get an extra attack. Boom. I'm making sacrifices here because I'm I'm gonna lose some units, but I'm not too worried about that because I'm producing more. So I, I, I don't. It, it it'll be all right because the reinforcements will make it to to the front lines before before too many units die. This is this is, this is going all right though. This is going all right. I'm I'm feeling good about this. <laughs> but yeah, so so there have been you know Dawn of War games, you know Dawn of War one and two, and have been a bunch of other them. Total Warhammer. There's there's so there's so many of them. I do, I don't know really anything about the series, but for for one reason or another, I've always felt like Dawn of War is a very niche game, and it's it's very. It's very, it's very intimidating. It's it's one of those things where you look at it a, as an outsider and and you see this this really rich universe with with uh, with with so much so much fandom and so much support and and so much uh, just just so much history, and it it then becomes frightening to 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 even consider purchasing it or, or even looking at it as, as as just as somebody that's never played it before and, and so it becomes this all right this is just not even part of the mainstream it's just it's just a thing it, it's real-time strategy but like it's not it's not it's too it's scary it's scary stuff but but 
just when when you look at Dawn of War three and and these sort of quote MOBA elements end quote, then it it starts to to seem a little bit more user friendly and 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 that's not necessarily true because the game from the little bit of it that I did play, it was very complicated there was a significant amount of of min maxing involved in in the game and granted you know I, I don't know how it compares to the to the prior entries in the series but it, it there was there was there was a lot of micro there was a decent amount of macro uh and and you know it was it was just an all-around solid solid game and if I'm remembering right, I, oh no, I do have an encampment in Rogal, Rogaldorn. I forgot I built one there. So I'm going to churn out more military units from Rogaldorn as well. We're, we're getting that science up. I wonder how long it's going to take to research metal casting while producing military units. So in this next turn, three new musket men are going to pop up. So we're going to take a gander at, at, at what that looks like and, and how that affects our science. Oh, somebody wants to trade, and it's Gandhi. Even though I swear Gandhi has just announced me, and he's and he's talking about trading already. He's like, "Man, I don't like what you're doing, but I need some of that cotton, though." So, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make the trade with Gandhi because I I am in desperate need of the amenities across all of my cities. So you know, it's it's, it's the lesser of two evils right here. You know, he, he doesn't like my actions, but he likes my resources, and, and I, I accept that. He's swallowing his pride, so he is indeed an admirable gentleman. And I believe Germany just upgraded their pikemen into a fucking anti-tank crew, so my horse is about to get blown up. <laughs> I think we're going to lose this war, by the way. <laughs> I'm changing my opinion immediately. I, I thought we had it for a second. But now he's got an anti-tank crew. Um, Zapanza Shriek is coming. Z <laughs> oh my god. This is ridiculous. America has completely ruined this playthrough. Look at that. There's no way I can kill it now. <laughs> it's over. I think we lost, people. I think we lost. I think this playthrough is going to come to a very abrupt end. Because there's no way for me to stop Germany. They lulled me into a false sense of security with their archers. Now these motherfuckers got tanks, and I can't do a damn thing about it. Um, or anti-tank. What is this, man? What? <laughs> I mean, I could... All right, well, I mean, on a different note, I cut off one turn of the the, uh, the 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 science by building musket men in all my cities. So that So that's pretty cool. Uh, but musket men don't stand a chance against the anti-tank crews either, so... Uh, uh, mm. uh, um. uh, uh, I, I, uh, um. Something bad is happening, folks. We <laughs> I don't even think upgrading to a bombard is going to help at this point, because they've got... They've got just straight up future tech, and and I'm 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 so far behind. Ah, oh, this is crazy. I'm gonna keep building musketmen though. I'm just gonna keep turning out units because I have no idea what else to do to to catch up in in this situation. Um, I guess I'll just send it. A, a, well, let's transfer it to uh, Riceland. Ah, uh, but. <laughs> That war with America just totally ruined everything because it, it really it was a huge setback in terms of in terms of time, because what what should have happened is that is that I should have been able to declare war with America on my own terms, and then I would have very easily taken them out. Right. But because they declared war on me. I wasn't able to I wasn't able to properly you know I I, I w my forces weren't amassed at the right time. I I didn't have the the war took too long. Like if if it was up to me, I would have completely wiped out America with no struggles and they wouldn't have even seen it coming, but he declared war on me when I didn't see it coming. So we have a we had a problem with it. Um 
And I'm going to demolish this farm in order to build a campus because, damn it, we need science. And, uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess I can try and take the city somehow and just keep, keep banging my head against it. I think that'll, that'll be my best option is just, just trying to ha hammer away, just trying to hammer away. So let's do it, man. Let's, uh, let's keep hammering. <laughs> I'm scared. They have these new machines that fire flames from their nozzles. Bazookas. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I should probably kill these archers before they turn into fucking machine gunners. Pardon my language, but jeez, man, this is this is terrifying. Is that linked? No. Okay. Ugh, okay, well, uh, alright. Yeah, that's a major defeat. The, the, there's, yeah, there's no way I can take the city. Macedonia's about to get fucked up. Sorry, I'm cursing too much today. But but anyway, going going back to the whole thing about... About, uh... Uh, Dawn of War 3. Uh, because, because they're introducing these familiar-feeling MOBA elements to the game... Uh... And 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 the, these sort of clickbaity things like we've got giant elite units that you can use and and that that just sounds cool to to a person that's that's never played a Dawn of War game so now all of a sudden I'm thinking hey well that's kind of cool that's you know so so it makes it feel a little bit more more user friendly and of course it 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 upsets the people that that have have been with the game for a long time or at least some people. Uh, you, you know, you've got you've got you've got the Dawn of War purists that that feel like Dawn of War three is is not a return to form. Like it's it's uh, like it, it's it's a step backwards. The strategy is not as in depth. It's not as as rich of an experience as, as the games used to be. But then you've got other people that are coming in from from like the Empire Earth Age of Empires days, and we're looking at it, and it's like, all right, it's it's not. It's not a pure real-time strategy game. You know, you're not building a hundred peasants so they can mine some gold, and you're not chopping down trees and all that. Um, but you know, th there's still micro, there's still real-time strategy, there's still unit countering, there's there's still all that good stuff. So, you know, I I I, I think it's interesting, and I think we're, we're we're in a point in 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 time where gaming is evolving to a certain degree it's it's a little bit stuck on this whole moba craze right now i'm not going to deny that and I, and same with the hero shooters it's 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 a little bit stale but it is on the precipice of of real evolution and and really you know a rebirth of of classic genres you know doom coming back and and and, and quake quake live coming out look at that just straight up bazooka the fuck out of my horses it's over people we going to lose and we going to lose bad <laughs> oh man i mean i could declare peace but to what end they they're going to like i'm going to lose the game even if i declare peace i'm still going to lose the game overall cuz i'm way too far behind in science i don't think there's anything i could do to catch up <laughs> i don't know yeah, this is ah. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, look, um, th th this is pretty miserable. But I'm gonna take I'm gonna take five, and when we come back, we're gonna find out if I can or cannot win this game. <laughs> and it's not looking good. So. As always, the name of the game is Civilization VI. The name of the channel is I Blue Air JGR Game for Comedy. Thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. <laughs>